so you're known as a as a Vine star. Is that is that a correct terminology? That is not correct. I'm known as a internet sensation. An internet sensation. What's the difference between a Vine star and an internet sensation? Well, I didn't just go viral on Vine. I went super viral on every site at one time, which is Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Vine. What do you think went behind that? Like, how do you think you got as big as you are? Um, I think I got as, as big as I am due to, um, it started with Vine, I'm going to be honest. It started with Vine. A friend of mine actually revined one of my posts. And when they revined the post, somebody had a lot of followers. And then they saw it and revined it. And when they revined it, uh, Hood, Hood Vines hit me up. And they hit me up. I never really got back to them, but they posted it anyway. And once they posted it, then world started. And from world started, this is 50, and that's pretty much how the, tra the chain went. Okay. So tell me about, you know, the I'll fuck your wife thing. Like, how did that come about, and what's the whole thing behind it? It, it, was, it was an idea that I had in my head because um, originally a lot of people don't know. Um, I sang. I do R&B. You know what I'm saying? I'm an entertainer. Um, and um, I've been trying to get on with music for a very long time. I had a group called Grand Arson back in Philly. Um, you know, we had a little situation that didn't really work out. Then I went solo, and you know that kind of really didn't work out. So you know, I'm 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 a hardworking, motivated, talented brother. So I, I had to f create something that's going to put me on a pedestal to get to where I need to be. You know, and I was just sitting there one day uh, while I was doing vines, and I was, it just popped up in my head. It popped up in my head that I did to create a character named Tyrone, and that's exactly what I did. Okay, so why? Why fucking people's wives? Why fucking people's wives? Because it's funny, that's why. It's, it's just comedy. A, a big, black, ag aggressive man with a do-rag and chucks with no socks on, running around saying, you want to fuck your wife, long dick style? Dude, I mean, how could you not laugh? Okay, so, so what was the first time that you did that? Was it staged or was it you no, literally rolled I was up in, on I was in, I was in, the first, first video, I was in, I was in the house. And like I said, we was making vines, and I was like, it wasn't really clicking. So I was just like, I just got up. I got up and I said, um, record this. And I said, uh, I'm Tyrone, and motherfuckers like me never make it to college. But I can fuck your wife, long dick style, right? And after I did it, you know what I mean? It was just like, we, we had different music. We had the genuine music, Pony, and the music came on and stuff like that. And it was funny. We thought it was funny, so we posted it up. It really didn't get no, 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 no response. But then eventually it started picking up. And then, you know, we took it to a whole nother level as far as just like, you know what? Let's do it. Let, let's get reaction. So we started doing it in stores. You know, we did the stores first. Then we stopped the stores. Then we started doing it outside the real people. And then from there, that's pretty much how, how it grew. So, so you were basically running up on people and just talking about they're going to fuck their wives without them knowing it. Yeah, yep. That's exactly what I did. <laughs> okay. So not everyone's going to be happy to hear that. No, they're not. And they're not going to be happy. Their wives might be, but they might not be. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. So, so what's been the actual craziest reaction you got from someone talking about they're going to fuck their wife? Um, I don't know if you've seen my video I did with uh, um, um, a homie of mine named um, Suel in Philly. It's him and his grandma. They do um, like skits. So his grandma didn't know that I was going to do it, but he did. You know what I'm saying? So we had went... And um, he brought his grandma down and we were just supposed to be just, like, she just thought that, you know what I mean, we were just, like, talking and stuff like that. So when I went and said it, the grandma slapped the shit out me. And, like, and that was for real. And it was, like, crazy. I was like, damn, nobody never really, like, you know what I mean? And I got slapped on camera. So I had to go along with it and shit. It made my face sting and everything. But, you know, this is grandma. You got to respect your elders. So I left it alone. But I would, I would definitely probably say that one. I'm Tyrone. Yeah, I mean like you get you ain't gonna slap her back. Hell no. <laughs> she carried a she carried a thirty-eight too, so Oh, okay. So you that. might have gotten shot in the process. Hey, I might have had for real this time, right? <laughs> grandmas don't play, man. I, I hear all types of news stories of someone breaking into a grandma's house and, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't playing, man. She slapped the shit out of me. Okay. Now, what else has happened? What's been some other weird reactions? Um, 
I don't know. I got into a couple altercations. Like, you know, you know, I had another skit where... Not, see, a lot of people, believe it or not, I don't know, maybe I'm just blessed. Well, I know I'm blessed because, you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer in God. It never really go like people think it go. You feel me? It just end up like after we, we stop, you tell them it's a joke, and they laugh it off. I mean, some people don't laugh it off. Like, I did this one skit where this, my man, the homie was going in the crib, and I said it to his girl, and, you know what I mean, she laughed it off, but he was still kind of trying to get physical. Or he didn't find it was a joke, but at the same time, you know what I mean, I'm still here, so. I mean, at the end of the day, it don't matter how big you are. You know, if someone feels disrespected, they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck, no. Mm -mm. You know, especially if they got a weapon on them. Yeah, especially if they got a weapon on them, yeah. <laughs> so you, you never go into a situation like, okay, like I'm, I might get shot or stabbed doing this shit. I mean, I think about it, but at the same time, you know, I keep a good solid team behind me. I keep my, my feet planted firm. I keep a nice distance. You know what I mean? I'm not, you know, I got a strong background in, you know, mixed martial arts. You know, I can disable stuff. I know how to defend myself that the average human being couldn't do, especially if you don't have a background in mixed martial arts. So, you know what yeah. I mean? Not saying that that's going to stop a gun, but at the same time, man, it's just like, you know what I mean? If it's the creed for you to die, then that's what's going to happen. You feel me? Right. I mean, I, I don't care how, how much, you know, martial arts you got, you're not going to dodge a bullet. Yeah, but see, I haven't, you know what I mean, I haven't had that kind of, this situation happen to me, so let's not, let's not talk negative, you feel me? Let's just always be positive. <laughs> okay. Now, have you, have you actually fucked some wives in the process of doing this? You asked me, has I fucked wives? Has Tyrone fucked wives or not Phil fucked wives? Because now you're getting, a, you know, two different people, you feel me? You, you, you turn, you're talking to a character, now you're talking to a real person. Now, you asking, now Phil Hitson? As the creator of Tyrone, or are you asking the character Tyrone has he fucked wives? So you got to help me out here. Have you, as a human being, <laughs> fucked any wives? I mean, of course I fuck wives, man. You feel me? I mean, an attractive, muscle bound, sexy, singing ass motherfucker like me. How many wives do you think I fuck? A lot. Yeah. Can, can you how, think how many wives do you think you fucked? Come on, man. Listen, man. How many times you ate a bowl of cereal? Quite a lot. All right, then I'm going to say quite a lot. Okay. All right. You never like, you know, what was that movie? Uh, the Ladies Man? You never had to run out? No, <laughs> Your no. underwear out the window? Mm -hmm. Nothing else like that? No, not me. I don't do no running, brother. Hey, man, let me tell you. Husband walk in, you fucking someone's wife? Running would probably be your best approach at that point. I don't care how big or small uh, the other guy is. Not me. Not me, bro. I ain't going to run. I love you to die. I mean, let me tell you, man, I, I got a lot of guns in my house. <laughs> well, look, man, that, I find, I find a strange man in my house, he getting shot right now. I'll we're, tell you that right now killing, on camera. We're killing that. I ain't running. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? But like I said, now we're talking about two different things. We're talking about characters and we're talking about what's realistic. You feel me? <laughs> so that Tyrone, first and foremost, Tyrone is a character. It's, it, it's, it's a character. You know what I'm saying? Now Phil Hitson is a real human being. Tyrone is a character. Now Phil Hitson is an entertainer and is a singer. Tyrone is an aggressive slash bully slash white fucker so you know what i mean that's not turn that's not turn make believe into reality let's just watch the videos be entertained and accept that but why would dre put me in it okay i mean because if they start from where they start from i was just a quiet girlfriend who got beat up and told to sit down and shut up me, personally, I do as well because, I mean, even to this day, none of his kids, none of his baby mamas, his mistresses, anybody, nobody has came up with HIV or nothing like that. So, I mean, just, just rationally thinking, something, something had to go on.